One of the best things about Flow Simulation is the add-on community. Whether it be your local airport or an airport on the complete other side of the world, chances are someone's dedicated their free time to improve it. And that means across the world, wherever you are, you can fly to places with stunning detail. Well, with the advent of Microsoft Flight Simulator's World Hub, it looks like this system is going to get a whole lot better. In today's video, I'll be talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator's World Hub, formerly known as Scenery Gateway. Let's get into it. Let's kick it off with the ultimate question, what is the World Hub? Well, it works in collaboration with the current scenery editor in Microsoft Flight Sim to act as a sim-wide platform that allows users to submit personal edits of airports or airfields for approval and upon approval by external moderators these edits will be rolled out across Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC and Xbox as free updates. Hopefully that is clear but to summarise it means that the average user now has a greater ability to edit airfields to improve them and if the community agrees that these improvements are worthy it will result in all of these improvements being rolled into an update for everyone regardless of your system. That is an absolute game changer. Changer. However, some of you may have some questions about it, and rightfully so. Now, first off, this is set for release with Sim Update 13, which as far as I know is still scheduled for September, so next month at the time of filming. And as I've said, this will be for both PC and Xbox. Now, X-Plane 11 or 12 fans will be able to relate to this uh, with their scenery gateway. It's pretty similar to that, but for those of you who are struggling to grasp the concept, the Microsoft Flight Sim team have shared a video and photos of this upcoming feature through their usual platforms. Now while users will still have to learn how to use Microsoft Flight Simulator's scenery editor, which is pretty intuitive and not too difficult, I have tried to use it in the past to varying degrees of success. That aside, the whole point of the World Hub is to put the standard user in control and to improve the sim as a whole because let's face it, everyone wants better airports. Better airports how? Well, with the scenery editor, you'll be able to make edits, such as remove excessive vegetation, to sort out bumps in taxiways or runways, to add or delete airport structures, and with this, you'll be able to utilize Microsoft Flight Sims, default resources and assets, which I personally hope also includes the world updates as there's plenty of good buildings you can grab from there to put into your airports, from the smallest airfields to the biggest international airports. Now let's ask and answer some big questions. How will this impact third party developers? Simply put, it won't much. With the exception of those who only use Microsoft Flight Simulator's default assets, because as I've already said, the only assets that can be used and uploaded to the world hub are those from the sim so no custom made buildings or textures can really be used which of course third party developers rely on and how about quality control well this is the big question and we're still waiting for some answers here it seems that there will be human moderators that will ensure only beneficial improvements and additions reach the sim wide updates on the world hub although by the looks of it people will still have the option to download and try out a variety of user made improvements. That will be an interesting aspect of the world hub that we'll have to keep an eye out as it's released in September. But that aside, personally I am incredibly excited for this feature. I think it sounds creatively fantastic and if it's used well it will be an absolute game changer, improving the sim leaps and bounds. Do feel free to share your thoughts down below and let me know what airport you are going to improve first. The World Hub by the Microsoft Flight Sim team will be released as part of Sim Update 13 in September. I really hope you enjoyed this video, just a short little one exploring a really different sort of aspect of flight simulation. I cannot wait to see it. When World Update 14 does come along and introduces the World Hub, I think there's a lot to get excited for there. On that note guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all around. Have a good one. Bye-bye.